Okay, first thing you need to change on page six, just to double check, make sure that 14 is a four. Okay, ready? It says right here, a cab company charges a $3 boarding rate, underline boarding rate. And in addition, underline in addition, its meter, which is $2 for every mile, that is a rate. When you guys see something that looks like a rate, that is equivalent with slope. Just keep that in mind. Something that's a rate is equivalent to slope. Okay, so we have two things going on here. We have a distance, which is miles, and then we have money. We have money and miles. Money and miles. We got two factors. Now, when you choose X and Y, the factor that never really changes, you think cause and effect. The amount of miles is the cause. The effect is the amount of money. Do you see that? It's not the other way around. Cause is the miles. Effect, the miles change the money. Do you see that? So, miles is the cause, and then money is the effect. When you go to graph this, the cause goes on the x-axis. So this axis is going to stand for miles. The effect is the y-axis, and that's going to be money. Miles and money, cause and effect. The fancy name for this is the independent and the dependent variable. You'll probably learn about that in science. Okay, so when you step into the cab because it has a $3 boarding fee, what's on the meter right off the bat? $3, exactly $3. So we've got $3 when you step in the cab. So just right next to it, put zero miles. So at zero miles, we have on the thing $3. So here's zero miles, and we're going to go $3. Yeah, these, these rates are highly undervalued. That's not what life is right now. Okay? By mile, number one, if it's $2 per mile, in your team, you've got 10 seconds to figure out what goes there. So you take the $3, we add two bucks, this is five. Five dollars. So at mile number one, we now have five dollars. Yes. Mile number three, we have three miles, so it's times two dollars. That's going to be six dollars plus the boarding fee, that's nine dollars. So skip two, go to three, and we're going to be at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's nine dollars at three miles. So the question is to you, what's the equation of this line? The equation. Yeah, I actually want an equation. What would be the y equals mx plus b of this line? I'm going to give it to you in about 30 seconds, but I want you to take a stab at it. Go. Okay, guys, for time's sake, let's see what you got here. Where does it cross the uh, y-axis? At what point? What point? Out loud, guys. Good morning. What, what number's there? Thank you, Marco, for being the <laughs> That's a three. Now, our rise and our run, we rise two, we run one, so our slope is going to be 2 over 1, x plus y equals. There's your equation of a line. Okay, you're going to need to do that on the one down below on your own.